Ladies and gentlemen, the American Jury and Bulldog Nation, we've been hearing the word militia in the news all year long. And it's kind of sad that the mainstream media, social media, everybody else, gives the militia, quote unquote, a bad name. I would like to explain a little bit of the legalities and the history and so forth of the militia. First and foremost, the militia in this country was founded, 1776. The militia were simply citizens gathering together, being called the Minutemen. Remember that from your American history books, although that's probably being taken out of the American history books now. You know, it's just militia is just citizens with arms. The actual Second Amendment says that we have the right to bear arms, and it also gives some validation to a armed militia. Now, the way this has all turned out is, is that there's different types of militias. For example, the National Guard in each state is considered the state militia, state-controlled government militia, under the control of the militia. And then you have all these other private uh, militias that have sprung up all across the country, some of them with members across the country. And these, by a lot of state laws, allegedly, are illegal if they are subversive. Now, most of these militias, all they are are a group of guys that get together and say, hey, we want to protect the Constitution, we want to protect their right to bear arms. You know, that's what they are. Now, nobody ever prosecutes them. But in my opinion, militias get a bad rap. A real bad rap. What's wrong with a group of citizens banding together to want to defend their communities? I mean, I can tell you right now, the community saved, uh, I forget the town now up in Claremont County, but this past year, they saved that town from being burnt down. They did. Now, there is absolutely nothing wrong with a militia that obeys the law. Now, I'm going to go ahead and tell you this. I spoke about this before. I never got around doing it. You don't have to call yourself a militia. I think that would make it even better. You know, but there is absolutely nothing to stop a group of people gathering together and forming a militia. They call them paramilitary groups. Really? So I I want you to know that I want to organize a group. I don't think I'm going to call it a militia because I think... The media kills with a bad connotation. But I would love to organize a group of people who are smart, intelligent, no whack jobs, that all know how to use firearms. It's because God only knows when that group of people could come together to protect some people, protect some folks. I mean, let's face it. If there was a serious insurrection in your community, Your local police don't have enough people to defend it. Now, we have peaceful communities around a tri-state generally, so maybe that's not going to happen. But you never know. But ladies and gentlemen, the American Jury and Bulldog Nation, militia, the media has made it a dirty word. And it shouldn't be. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Have a great day.